there's a lot more that I can encourage young people to do, but the onus is in them, it's in their heads. They either have to accept who they are rejected, and the consequences are very <coughs> precarious for them if they don't really know who they are in the long term. I would like to pose to you, Mr. Muzua, is what does it mean to be a Zimbabwean? Ah, the question takes um, a long way. To be a Zimbabwean, when we look beyond color, we look beyond race, uh, but um, to be a Zimbabwean, firstly, you've got to be help to be a, a Zimbabwean birth, registration, and any form of descendants uh, from the Zimbabwean um, group. That's the first thing to be called a Zimbabwean. But there are certain things that um, make somebody a Zimbabwean. They're including yeah, this includes the language itself, the languages that we have, uh, our identity, um, be it from uh, any other part of Zimbabwe. It might be Njebele, Shona, Kalama, uh, Vitori, whichever that uh, tribe uh, that you belong to. That's being part of uh, uh, the Zimbabwean. When we don't have any form of clothing or identification that other nationalities has, such as the Nigerians and uh, the Somalians and other things. What makes me a Zimbabwean uh, is my language. It's my language, number one. Number two is the community that I belong to. Uh, number three is the uh, behavior. It's the behavior that we have uh, respect, and um, mostly, and, and, and mostly um, how we communicate with people. Even at work, you're easily recognized due to hard working as well as a Zimbabwean and other nationalities. Other nationalities, yeah, we, we, we are totally different from others. Again, um, being honest and um, uh, very, very Zimbabweans are practical, are practical people in, in this world. We don't have any uh, real identity. Oh, number number three is the food that we eat. Yeah, we haven't um, forgotten about the salsa. We haven't forgotten about the cultural activities that we, we partake in this country as well. Yeah, yeah, throughout the seasons, yeah, like in the third, yeah, Southern Africa third season period, we do some acts, some films on Zimbabwe, some theater productions on Zimbabwe as well. So um, that's how we show our Zimbabweanness in this country, in, in this country, and that's how we fly our Zimbabwe flag in this country. And um, Uh, to me, to be a Zimbabwean, I never used to be uh, proud of being Zimbabwean, but uh, my coming into this country made me realize um, how, uh, what sort of culture we have in our country and what sort of people we are. And that has uh, made me to feel very proud that we are a people with a culture and uh, we are a people with a direction according to what I see, what I have seen, what I have uh, 
I experienced in this country. Okay. We have got a lot of young people who are growing up in the community, fathered and mothered by Zimbabweans. What advice and information would you give to them? In the first place, I would really say that the, my first advice would be to the parents of the children, of the young children, that um, they need to be proud of their culture as Zimbabweans, and they need to realize that our culture is our heritage. Therefore, if you lose a culture, then you are no longer human as it were. So they need to think of all the ways and means of trying to uphold our culture. And when you look at it, our language is an important aspect of our culture. So I would advise parents, of especially children who are young, to teach them our indigenous languages, which are Shona and Delele or whatever language. If they come from plum tree, they should teach them Kalama because that is important, that is their culture and they need to have that. And then to the young ones, I would say they really should feel proud of the, who they are. <laughs> Sumbar, 